Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and yesterday there was some pretty significant announcements and updates to things announced. One of them is the release of Portal 2 for uh, Xbox, PS3, PC, and Mac. Great game, I've been playing it, uh, almost finished, been playing it a lot, and uh, should be able to finish it up tomorrow, but uh, the second thing that we're going to actually talk about is the Nodo update for the Samsung Focus in particular, but it also is releasing for the LG Quantum. It may not be available yet in your area, but however, AT&T's been rolling it out, so maybe you do have it. So to check for it, plug your phone into Zune Player, go to uh, the phone and check for updates, and hopefully you have it. It takes about a half hour to install, and once you install it, you turn on the phone, it's really not going to look any different, but it does add some features. So let's go ahead and show you one of the features. One of those is copy and paste basically the phone playing catch up to everybody else that already has copy and paste iOS and Android so I type the word hello if I want to copy I tap the word and it gives me this little icon here that's copy if I want to paste we've got the little icon here we tap and it pastes if you want to paste again you have to copy it over and over you can't it doesn't just store it in memory and let you keep copying like uh, iOS, for example. One of the other major updates is faster app switching in games. Uh, here's Bringcast. This is a nice podcasting app. Open pretty quickly. That's definitely faster. If we go home, go back, it, it does seem to be a lot quicker with the resume. I'm not going to do that with games, but it does knock some time off. And there are some other comparisons online where they have a couple Windows phones to show that. Uh, in this case, I don't, but it's been pretty good so far and works well. One of the other improvements that's huge, and I don't know why they didn't do this to begin with, is the Marketplace search. Let's go to the Marketplace. Now, originally, when you had the Marketplace, you would search for something. So, say I want to go to Apps, and I want to search an application. I would go in here, and let's search for Twitter. Oh, there we go. Twitter. There's Twitter, let's search. What it would do originally is bring up applications, music, everything, all in one screen, and it was really difficult to find uh, just applications when that's all you wanted. So they've broken that down logically. Why it wasn't done originally, like I said, I don't know, but it's done now, and it works great. And here's anything with the name Twitter in it. That's one of the other huge updates. So they improved the marketplace search and I guess the stability of the marketplace. I had experienced a couple times where it would crash and then you'd have to restart the phone to get it to work again. One of the other things they've done is Wi-Fi improvements. Apparently the Wi-Fi uh, will actually give you your Mac address under settings uh, for your device so you could set it up if you need to. It will also not do some switching that it does right now uh, originally, what it would do is you'd go on, you'd open uh, Bees as a Twitter app, you'd open that, it would go and say, oh, I'm on 3G, wait a minute, I have Wi-Fi, and then it would connect. Now it seems to stay connected, it's up here, and it works well. I don't know why they didn't do that before, but it seems to work better and not be hunting around for the network. The other improvement as far as uh, Office goes is Outlook improvements. I guess they've gotten some uh, improvements when it comes to iPhone photo attachments. That's specifically mentioned. I don't use Outlook on here, really. So, And uh, basically, it, it, it helps with non-exchange-based accounts. They've improved uh, the speed at which Facebook syncs under the People Hub. They've also improved camera integration. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the camera. And the thing they've pr improved, while you're not going to see much, but my fingers are white behind here, is the switching between the video. It's, it's quicker, it's more stable, and there we go. So you can see it's pretty fast. The audio has also been improved when it comes to Bluetooth headsets. So it, uh, it's, it's improved the experience specifically. What that means, I don't know. Uh, but if you do know, please comment below and just let us know, because uh, I, I haven't had any issues with Bluetooth, but supposedly or what Microsoft specifically says is we've improved the experience of using a Bluetooth headset to make calls when when you're playing music or videos I had this sync to my car it made calls just fine so I don't know what those problems are but like I said let me know if you if you know they've also said they've made some other performance improvements uh, 
for software from several phone manufacturers and things like that. They don't get into specifics, but that's basically it. So it's not a huge update, but it's basically a much needed bug fix uh, patch and gives you copy and paste and speeds up some, some process. I can't wait for the Mango release, which uh, Microsoft recently showed off. It looks fantastic, and unfortunately it's going to take till the fall to get here, but that adds things like multitasking, things like that. If any of you have had a uh, Samsung Focus and been waiting for this, or have had this update, let us know if you've noticed any other differences or speed improvements and things like that in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please go ahead and hit subscribe. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.